Felder here with another video for you today. I am bringing this to you from Teaspoon of Fun, our little paper crafting shop, and I hope that I can show you some of the tricks of the trade. I absolutely love doing what I do, and I hope it comes through here tonight. So tonight what I'm going to show you is this adorable little treat box. Look at that! It, I'm going to show you the add-on, which is the little box part of it, but the mugs, we have several of them in the shop and we've got more to come, but this little mug right here um, you can use on a card. So let me just show you what I mean. Here's one that I did. This is our snowman mug. This is our Santa mug. That's the one I'm going to show you tonight. This is our um, little uh, snowman mug. And I made him into a little treat box with um, the uh, hot chocolate. And I added some little marshmallows. Wouldn't that be adorable on somebody's uh, little stand? Or give it to a friend, give it to a coworker. So adorable. I'm going to be using all of these for our holiday table and having different ones at each person's place. Absolutely adorable. But you can also take these little mug dies, and I just lost all my marshmallows. Um, you can take these adorable little dies and make them into cards. So here's one that I did a video, or not a video on, but a blog post on, and this one is the hidden message die. All right, so all I did was take the little slit that's in each and every one of these little guys right here, and I added a little hidden message to it. It's so adorable. So on my blog, under this post, you're going to see um, the directions and the um, measurements for this, okay? So there's, there is the little box that I made with it. Here is the card that I made with it. I'm going to pick up all my marshmallows, and I'm going to show you some of the other ones that I've done. This is our little Grinch one. He'll be back in stock uh, in about a month, he ha he sold out so fast. Um, he was just absolutely adorable. But I also made him into a little treat box so that I can put these on, the, like I said, the holiday table. I am also going to take some of these and um, like the gnome one, I'm going to take it. I'm going to um, use him all year long. So I'm going to dress him up like a little leprechaun. I'm going to take and put him with little Easter bunny ears. He's going to have all kinds of things um, going with him. But I also made him a little treat box. What I did with this one was I used some designer paper. It's adorable. Um, and I used a different designer paper here, but I also did it for the box. So there's your your ideas are endless. And then for that one, I also made a little card um, for the gnome card too. So like I said, you can take these and put them flat on an A2 card. You can put them on a slim light card. You can line them all up. There's so many things you can do. And with each and every die that, so this one right here is the Santa die. It comes with all of these little extras. So you can mix and you can match. This is the add-on that I was just talking about. It is um, the one that makes the box. And that's what I want to show you today. All right. So what I like to do is I like to cut out everything ahead of time. These are our little triangle boxes so that I sort all my little pieces in there. I'm going to take and like I said, I always cut out these ahead of time. So what I did for my holiday table was I cut out a bunch of the Santas. I cut out a bunch of the gnomes. I cut out a bunch of these snowmen and I cut out just one Grinch. And I'd like to have you guess who the little Grinch is going to be. Um, so that is going to be at a special place on the table. Um, it's going to be really cute. Um, that's what, that's just something very special. You could also put like on your table, instead of putting candy in there, um, you can put in there things like um, maybe scratch off cards or just anything that you want that's going to be really cute on your, on your holiday table. All right. So what we're going to do is I cut out a whole bunch of pieces a a ahead of time. I group them just like this. And then what I do is I put them together in an assembly line. So the first thing I want to do is to put his little hat on. I'm going to be using my glue press because you really um, get, you, you actually 
do it a lot better when you use your glue, uh, a liquid glue because it's very forgiving. And you can kind of um, maneuver it around until it's like right in place. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just kind of um, putting my glue on. And then all I'm going to do is put my paper piecing together. And you're just going to line up all the pieces just like this. And you want that to be just like that. Okay. Alrighty. And whoop, here we go. Now there's certain things that you really do want to have. Um, like you want to definitely have your jewel picker because that's going to help you pick up the smaller pieces, things that are in there. You're also going to want your retractable pick. Okay. And you're also going to want your um, bone folder. Okay. Or your crease tool there. All right, so now we've got the little uh, red piece on there. Now let's put our little whiskers. I'm going to bring this back in just so you can see where I'm at um, and doing the things that I'm doing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my little um, beard. Again, using my precision glue press. And I'm using the smaller of the, the nozzles right here. There's two that come with it. I'm using the smaller one because I've got smaller little lines that I want to do and I want to be very precise. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just add this underneath here like this and just butt it up to the little hat right there. These go together so fast. It's, it's just a lot of fun to put them together and to see them come alive. All right, now I think what I'll do is to put his little mouth. So I'm going to take my jewel pick and I'm going to grab my mouth which is this one right here and while I'm doing that I might as well do the nose also so what I'm going to do is just to take my R21 color that in color in the mouth I'm going to add a little bit more to the nose let me just show you this is my RV32 and just put a little bit of shadowing on the top of it right here kind of right around the edge right there all right, so we'll let those dry. Now what I'm going to do is to take and put a little bit of adhesive right here on the bottom so I can add my little mouth, my lips. All right, grab your jewel picker and just lay it down right there. Okay? And if you've got any little adhesive that is kind of squeezed out a little bit, you can just take and scrape it off with your with your uh, retractable pick. Alrighty, so now we've got the beard, we've got the mouth, we're gonna do the nose. So what I'm gonna do is to take my um, thin, small, these are the thin foam squares, and I'm gonna take it, I'm going to put them onto the beard. So let's grab our little beard, or our mustache, not the beard, the mustache. We're gonna take these and just add one there and one there, and you don't want to use the um, large ones, you know, the regular size, because they're too fat. Um, it's always good to have a set of the thin, both black and white, in your repertoire so that um, when you need them, you've got them. All right, so I'm just going to pop that up just a little bit, and the reason I'm working from the bottom up is so that I know where to put um, my eyeballs. All right, so now I've got to work on the eyeballs. What I'm going to do is to take my glue and put that right here. And then pick up the eyeballs. I'm going to start with the whites first. There and right there. Okay, and then let's push these over like this, get them... See, that's why it's good to have the liquid glue um, because you can kind of manipulate it a little bit. That's why I love the glue, the liquid glue. All right, then I'm going to take and put a little bit of adhesive right here and right here, and we're going to put the black part on to the eyes. All right, so let's make sure these are, uh, these are upside down. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Nope, that one's upside down too. All right, so now what we're going to do is to take this one, just stick it right on over here. Good. And this one is going to go just like this. See how fast this goes? So if you've got all of these all in a row, you can take and you can do four or five at a time. They're so much easier to do it that way. All right. 
So now let's just move that one down just a little bit. And we're going to take and we're going to do our nose. So the nose, we need to have it popped up also. So I'm just going to take the one that I colored. I'm going to add just one of my thin, regular sized foam squares. Okay. And just add that to the top of this right here. Move it over just a tad bit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is to add the little uh, eyebrows. All right. So they're in here. And with those, I also um, added those with our little um, foam squares. But what I did was I added them with the micro micro squares. All right. So let's take that and put one right here. And I always try to take the top off first because then I can just pick it up and slap it on there like that. And then these are ready to go. All right. So here's one. And here is the other. Look at that. Now, if I wanted to add this to a card, boom, I'm ready. Like I did with this one, I added, so in each one of them, they have some hot cocoa in there, you know, like little liquid. You could use it, you could use change the colors and do it for tea. You don't have to put the whipped cream on top. It comes with all of these little embellishments. They're so adorable. All right, so we've got that one. Now, um, we're pretty much ready, except, oh, I forgot the circle, and I've just got to find my circle. And for that one, I'm going to take and add the adhesive right here. And I'm going to do something special to this one and to the nose um, at the very end. So you're going to see that. All right. Now, what I want to do is to take and add my hot cocoa right here. Okay. So I'll just take... My precision glue press, add some of that, add my hot cocoa, put a little bit too much adhesive on there, there we go. See how that comes off so easy. I, I couldn't live without my, my jewel picker and my retractable pick, I'm going to tell you right now. All right, so we got the hot cocoa in there. And now what we're going to do is to, let's add that up just a little bit, okay, and now what we're going to do is to add some of our whipped cream to the top, so I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive down here at the bottom, okay, and then we are ready to put the box together, okay. So we're gonna set this off to the side for now. Now, this is where I could add all kinds of embellishments to it. So um, for this little guy right here, I added um, just one of the uh, little snowflakes. Um, for this one, I added some of the uh, holly. Um, you can add whatever you want to it. It's just so much fun. And there's all kinds of candy that go along with the themes of, of this right up right here too. So um, you can like what I mean by that is like here's the little Santa Claus. They have Santa Claus Hershey Kisses. They're so adorable. Wouldn't they look cute in there? Um, so right here is our little guy. He's all done until we get ready to put him on the box. All right. So when you go to cut these out, you need to cut out two of the bases that's this this base right here okay so I cut one out of white and I cut one out of um, the flesh for his face but you can also cut them out like I showed you earlier with um, designer paper so this designer paper and this designer paper you can do whatever you want on this one I actually use the designer paper for his hat uh, it's just adorable the, the things that you can do it's all up to your imagination so now what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to, um, the, these come with the creases. So what you want to do is to take and just crease everything. And one of the things I always forget to do is to crease these two, but don't forget to do that before you put it together because once you start gluing, it's harder to crease. So I always try to do that um, beforehand or right at the very end like this. But make sure those are creased and they're creased good. Use your crease tool because it does make a difference. Okay. The first thing that you're going to do is to take your glue and glue these two pieces down. That's going to give it the sturdiness that it needs for the box. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to chat with you for just a second while we are, hold on, while we are um, getting that to 
dry, all right? These boxes are so fast and easy to make. They're fun. They're fun to give to friends. Like I said, they're fantastic to put on a coworker's desk. They're just adorable. All right, so when you start gluing, so you can glue your box together. Let's get our little head back in here, the two of them. This one and this one, okay? The first thing you're going to, you want to glue one side first, okay? And then we'll work on the other side, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so we're going to take and put some glue here. We're going to put some glue here. We're going to put some glue on all three of these, all right? Now, what we're going to do is to take and fold it up. Now, it doesn't go straight up and down like this. It's kind of going to go at an angle, okay? So this one is going to actually get pushed down like this. And you can put these whichever way you want. If you want them both on the outside, you can put both of them on the outside. If you want one up and then one down, you can do that. I always like to work on the back first, okay? We're going to put this. So that now what I do like to do, and I've done it both ways, is I like to take and put this. Let me get let me get it glued down and then I'll show you. What I like to do is to take the top and put it so it goes nice and even over here in just a little tiny bit on both sides. But if you want this little puppy to lay down flat, you want this to, to hang just a little tiny bit so it lays nice and flat. But do you see how easy that was? So this lines up very close to the edge here, lines up very close to the edge here. We want to make sure that um, we take your crease tool and just crease that in there like that, all right? And then when you go to stand it up, it stands up beautiful, just like that, done, all right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this side, again using your liquid glue, and these should, be back, these should be back in stock very shortly. For those of you that have waited, um, we really appreciate your patience. We're just waiting for them from the vendor. All right, so um, look for these very shortly and um, they're amazing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is to lay this one right on here like this. Make sure it's nice and straight. And what I'm lining up is this middle part right here. I'm just gonna hold it for just a second. Whoop maybe more than a second. All right, let's just make sure he's nice and straight. Make sure he's good there. Check the back. You see how he's, he just goes right to the very edge there, right to the very edge there. And you saw, because this one was already on there, you saw that it just kind of laid down there just perfectly. Absolutely, absolutely the easiest thing ever. All right, take your crease tool and just rub it in to make sure it's on there nice and tight. And here is our box. Isn't that adorable? So here's all of these boxes. I'm not done with him yet though, so don't leave me yet because I'm gonna show you some really cool things. We're gonna take these two, I'm gonna show you those two. And I'm gonna show you this little guy right here with all the hot chocolate I just dumped out. Here is my little gnome guy. He, he will be back um, uh, probably by January and he will be back in, in January also. So get your name on the wish list, January, 2024, okay? They should be back in stock. And um, if your name is on the wish list, we'll notify you as soon as they come in, all right? But don't forget, we're gonna, we're gonna um, do these for different holidays. It's not gonna be just for the Christmas holiday, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you a couple of different things. So let's start with his little tassel right here. All right, I am gonna take and start to warm up my, my heat gun, but I'm gonna take my fluffy stuff and I'm gonna add it to his little pom-pom uh, right here. So we got some extra little fluffy stuff. And this is, this is found in the Teaspoon of Fun shop. So make sure you head on over there and grab your fluffy stuff and that's exactly what it's called fluffy stuff all right so now what i'm going to do is to heat this little guy until he starts to puff look it look at look at look at ah, he's so cute he's like a fluffy little marshmallow and if you overheat him he will turn golden brown like a regular marshmallow so that's a little act added extra thing right there. Um, I can take my uh, crystal glaze right here 
and I'm almost out of this. I'm going to have to get another bottle soon. But what I do when I start my crystal glaze is I grab a, a piece of scrap paper because <clears throat> there's usually a bubble on the top of it. And I am just going to put it on his little nose right here. And this just steps him up so much more. Now what I can do is I can take, now I've got to let that dry. But now what I can do is I can take any of these little embellishments and put them on here. Like the, um, I can take the little gingerbread man. I can take the, uh, there's a little spoon. There's so many different things that you, let me see if I can find them here. Here is the spoon. You can take the spoon and put that inside here. Um, here's the little spoon right here. Let me see if I can find the gingerbread man. I don't know where he, oh, here he is. The little gingerbread man, you can take and put him on there if you wanted to in the little in the little thing right there. There's just so many cute little embellishments to go along with it. But don't forget, you don't have to leave them just for these. You can take any of these little embellishments and put them on other cards. You can take them and put them on um, other projects. They're just so much fun. So these are the ones that I've been working on right now. We also have Mrs. Claus coming in in the next couple of days, so look for that one. And I will tell you right now, they are so much fun. Remember, shop at um, www.teaspoonoffun.com. Uh, the link is either in the little I above there or in the description below. I will have a link there. You can get right to the shop. Vicki and I love doing this for you. It's a passion of ours and we just love bringing it to you. We have such a good customer base. They're also good to us. And like I said, thank you for your patience on the little glue press. Um, they're coming in shortly. I promise you, don't give up on us. So if you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of us. You take care, have a great day, and thank you so much for stopping by.